Welcome along guys, we're out today, the sun is out, we're doing our first trip down to Weymouth and I'm with these two uh, reprobates, we're going down the way, a bit of exercise, we've got our uh, trainers packed to do a little jog when we get there and uh, going to have a bit of fun, first time we've been out in, uh, well it's the first time we've seen Womble since last year, ridiculous. Same engine as in my uh, Ducati. My Ducati. 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 Right, should we do it? So we're heading down to Weymouth, a bit of sunny Weymouth. A little bit of exercise when we get there, of course. Oh yeah. Anything coming, Dave? Because I ain't got any mirrors. No, you're fine, go. <laughs> Joking. No, go, go. <laughs> no mirrors, no indicators. In no indicators, well, I've got rear indicators. Just no front indicators. Yeah, they just flash twice as fast. So I've got just as much indication going on within a set period. Just as much flashing going on. Right, this is uh, Salisbury. So we've got a lovely little country route we normally do down to Weymouth. It's quite a good one. Let's have a look at that, uh, those bikes then, boys. Wumble's got his, uh, you've got your LEDs in, he's got his LED bulbs in the Tuono to give it a more modern look. Looks nice, mate. I was going to strip the engine out and repaint it, but I thought, no, LEDs. <laughs> <laughs> what else is new for the tu Tuono then for 2020, mate? Gold chains on, isn't it? Gold chains. Chain sprockets. Gold chain of sprockets. I'm waiting on my carbon. Oh, you got bits of carbon coming as well? What's yeah, what? the side infills. Oh, the infill. Oh, yeah. She's, oh, been, yeah. Get, she's been getting a bit of love then. Yeah. And then I'm going to paint the wheels. Oh, yeah, you're going to do some dodgy paint scheme, aren't you? What are you going to do? I don't know. I did look at the gold. And I'm like, yeah, it does oh, look gold, quite nice. maybe. Yeah, I think that gold will look nice. Especially with the suspension and that. Because you were on about having the rear wheel green and just doing the rear on green, weren't you? Yeah. Nah, I think that'll look a bit gash. Oh, that looks shit. <laughs> this is the bloke that's driving a ride in our H2. You don't want stuff, you don't want anything too bling, do you? It's got, you know... Yeah, alright Mr Wings. You can't go too <laughs> far with it, you've got to... Uh, got to be, no, you don't want to stand out too much, do you? And that one, that, that's what it is. You don't want me to take the limelight, do you? <laughs> ah, she's looking nice, mate. How many miles have got now? Nine, coming up to 10,000 miles. Nearly 10,000 miles, trouble free miles. I think the only problem you've had is just the battery, wasn't it? The battery, I need a new battery. No, that was the other bike, wasn't it? The other bike? What are you on about? That was the uh, Triumph. Didn't you have to you had a problem with the battery on that, didn't you? What's it, this one? Didn't you have to get a new battery because it was flat and you had to, or did you just charge it, put it on an Optimate and it's been alright? I don't remember changing the battery. And because you couldn't get their terminals undone because they're all corroded or something? I don't know. I think you're talking <laughs> I think you're talking about something. You're trying to damn my bike. Don't listen to him. Don't listen to him. <laughs> Can't even remember what's happened to his own bike. <laughs> I know it's been a, a strange year, mate, but bloody hell. I'm trying to think what I've done. All I've done is I've changed the pads. Indicators, I've changed my indicators. They're those things that flash, front and rear, I don't know. Uh, yeah, you don't need those, overrated, overrated. Is our trip to Spain going to be on though mate? That could be off now I reckon. Yeah I reckon it is, isn't it? I reckon that's off the cards now. Well we'll we do something else instead though, we'll borrow some bikes and we'll do something in the UK with them. We'll borrow the bikes, maybe once once you can stay at overnight at places we'll get a little B&B &B or something and do an overnight to Scotland and back or once Scotland opens its borders and that you're allowed out of Scotland of course. Maybe still take the double R and the blade triple R. Battle of the R's but just take them in the UK and not to Spain. Oh I like this bed here. I 
thought it was up there for a minute. I was like, where am I going? <laughs> you forgot how to ride a motorbike, did you? Let's do a little roll-on test with the Tolono then. I think you'll I think you'll have me on talk, I reckon. Yeah? Uh yeah, I think so. I'll go 4,000 revs, six gear then. Six gear. Oh, what revs are you doing at 4,000? Four, four? 4, oh, yeah, really then, hang on. What, three? Now come around top sides actually, because you won't be in my... Oh, come over my side, I'll go on your side. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> yeah, I thought you'd have me on talk. Done me on talk. Yes. <laughs> All right, mix it up a bit then. Do it at fifth gear, five thousand revs. Fifth gear. Yeah, go to five thousand revs in fifth. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. You didn't say go. What happened there? Let's do that one again. You're supposed to say go. Right, five thousand revs. Five thousand revs. Wait for the road straight. Ready? Yep. Three, Ready. two, one, go! Uh, she's got some pull to her. We're going to keep doing it until I win. <laughs> <laughs> Fourth gear, 5,000 revs. Ready? Yep. Three, two, one, go! At the front went a bit light, I was like, whoa! Yeah, I know, my was as well. Did it pull away from you there, did it? Yeah, once you got to a certain thing, you just like, whoa, I was like, ass. Yeah, it's interesting though, isn't it? On the old, uh, I thought you would be more talky on that. But you run out of revs, and what was your rev to? Oh, I'll just sit, wait till that light flashes and give it a... It's about sort of 11, 12-ish, isn't it, I think? Whereas this obviously pulls around to 14 and this gets stronger, the more the revs go up, the more this pulls away basically, isn't it? But you, it just goes to show for road bike though, do you know what I mean? Having that V4 torque on the road, bloody lovely, isn't it? I mean actually, to be honest, the GSX-R did really well against you, did it? I reckon the GSX-R might have been more torquey than this. Quite surprising. I, I better get it chipped now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Wim Wimborne left. Oh, you want to do it right to lose Vorm. <laughs> <laughs> is it left? Is it left? Yeah, it's left Wimborn where we've got to go. This is it. I'm going to be borrowing the ZH2 soon. We'll have to try some tests on that. Because that, that's a bit more talky than this, the ZH2. See how you fare against that one. Undisputed champion! <laughs> Oh, this is the other side of uh, Verwood, this isn't it? This is a lovely little set of bends down this road. One of my favourite sections of road, this I think. that little section of road there, lovely. And this bit of road is like 10 miles of lovely twisty action through the new forest to watch out for those pesky jazz drivers. Where have you? Good little section of road there, there. Yeah, it's nice. Ah, oh, lovely. That's my neutral, there it is. Alright, thumbs up. Thumbs up. Green. Green, it's green. Green, green. Red now. <laughs> oh, I forgot how tight it was. Ah. Yeah, enjoyed that. Very nice bit of road, that one. 
I don't know what the road's called. It's the road from Verwood to Wimborne, I think. It's a lovely bit of tarmac. Seven and a half ton weight restriction here, John. <laughs> I'll be careful. But after lockdown, that could be a problem. Take your lunch out your bag. <laughs> I was going to the gym, I was properly sorted, and then COVID hit, and I just sat at home for two months eating and drinking. Lucky I fit in these leathers, actually. If you keep them on, they are stretch with you. <laughs> yeah, just getting the bath with them on is what you got to do, isn't it? So you've been toying with the idea of getting a 899 Panigale, haven't you? Yeah. Why do you want one of them, then? I want to get a sports bike. You're missing the sports bike funnel, yeah? I miss the sports bike, yeah. If I could buy my blade back, I'd buy it back. Would you really? Would you wish you regret selling out of there? Yeah. But yeah. I'm not going to, you know, blame anyone. <laughs> well, me? Not me, surely. Well, no, no, not you. Well, a little bit, maybe. <laughs> well, you've got the nice little Triumph, haven't you? That's your sports bike now, isn't it? Uh, I was looking at, I was looking at, uh, KTM. What, the, uh, or GT? Was it? Oh, very nice, mate. You'd like that. But I mean, you don't, you don't like V-twins, though, do you? How are you going to get on with the Panigale? Well, that's the thing, it... <laughs> I like the look of it. <laughs> Sounds like you want the V4 version to me. <laughs> Sod it, just go the whole hog and get the V4. Well, I will get a sports bike, but we'll see what I get. So you're not selling the Toyota though, are you? Keep that. Oh yeah, this is the winner, isn't it? It was just, it was proven about 10 minutes ago. <laughs> I don't know why I'm, I'm talking to you and I'm stroking the tank as I'm telling <laughs> I might be on the market for a... Uh, Hyper motards as well. You just want to get a Ducati, don't you? That's the thing. Well, I'm thinking I know what you're like. I'll, you'll do all that bike up and I'll be like, ka ching! Or just buy it off me. <laughs> yeah. Nah, that's the key for that one, mate, after all this work. Uh, yeah, alright. Yeah, well, at least a year anyway. <laughs> I can't commit any further ahead than a year. Oh, we want to hang a left here somewhere, don't we? Ah, oh, watch out for the indicators, there you go. Don't say I don't have any indicators. Oh, it's a bit bloody bumpy down here. You want to get yourself a, a, a naked, that's yeah, why. It's not really the bike for... Uh, Oh, that's push bikes now. Come on, love. Oh, but yeah. We'll stop up here at the church. We've brought our own... Well, we don't need a calf, do we? We've brought our own flasks with us. Come on. I don't know, how long does it keep it hot? She goes, oh, I don't know. I said, would you be able to do some sort of test during the day today? And she did, she did. She did. She did. Like, oh yeah, it's still hot after four hours. Oh, keeps her busy, doesn't it? Keeps her busy. <laughs> <laughs> right, here we are. Oh yeah. The red lion. Ah. Oh. Oof. Well, there's mine. Not a bad size. Oh Jesus, she's gone big. I've got milk separate. Andy's gone full scale, full size. <laughs> Drop a harpy, lovely, in your coffee. <laughs> nah, not really. Don't do that, kids. <laughs> oh, it's pathetic. I didn't feel mine all the way up there. Did so. you do drink it out of there? I've got no, it's got a little cup. It comes with a little cup. <laughs> also known as a thimble. Look at these shadows. <laughs> Enjoy. Right, let's move on now. So where, where are we? Anyone get any idea where we are? Yeah, the Red Lion pub. Right. Ow, all my knees. You boys with your naked. My Gosh, feet and knees. lucky you got it with your, with your legs. There's a one on the left. It's a telephone box. Yeah, well, that's where you see those lovely smelly old grannies you like, isn't it? Yeah. And it's a, it's a book club. You put your old books in there. What a great idea. Have you brought some books with you? No. And, and he might have some books in that big rat sack he's got. He's, yeah. got he's got everything else in it. And porn mags. <laughs> porn mags don't count. <laughs> porn mags. You don't think you can buy them anymore, can you? 
but that might scare me. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for someone to say, yeah, you can. <laughs> Let me just adjust this camera a bit, it's a funny angle. Ugh. Hold on a sec. Now oh, the camera's falling off! Whoopsie Daisy! Oh you stopped that, <laughs> there you are, cheers mate. Where is it? Got it, was got it, it, got it. You got it? Yeah. Oh, good man. Good man, Wombo. Is it smashed? No. It's a bit grey, but it looks alright. It was grazed anyway. Is it still flashing? Where's it flash? Don't uh, need to know. That's, that's no then. <laughs> oh, there might be a scratch on the lens. Uh, oh, if it survived that, I'll be impressed. We've already <laughs> worn it out on the tyre on the back of the uh, Daytona. Let's just see how it turns on. Oh, it's turning on. It's turning on. This thing is a bloody champ. Oh, the lens, the, the lens is all scratched. Obviously, it got worn through here with it, but it slid down on that tyre. Wore through. I've packed it out with shoe glue, and now it's just fallen off the bike. And it seems like it's still working. Just make sure your one's on there still. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can't pick it out. I think That's I'm not. I was enjoying having two 360 cameras. Let's try again. Did you go for the standard gearing again, Womble, when you change your chain of sprockets? Uh, standard gearing, yeah. Yeah, okay. I'm just checking you haven't, you haven't geared it down or anything. You, have you been, th <laughs> he's been thinking all this time? Like, well, what's, he, what's he done? What's he done? <laughs> Uh, it just suddenly occurred to me you might have put a bigger rear sprocket on or something. <laughs> just for this very reason. Just for this very reason. Oh, my fuel lights on. Yeah. Oh, my, mine just come on just now. Has yours come on as well? <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's gone out now. It's gone out now, the fuel light. <laughs> oh, it's, it's back on again now. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, it's like your indicators. Oh, we'll have to stop at that little garages up here. That is the trouble running a supercharger. If I remember rightly, I ran out of petrol at this roundabout and had to cruise. That's the trouble. My, my fuel light, I've still got another 30 miles. You've got 15 miles. Yeah, it's unlucky. If we go left here, there's a garage on the left in the town. Let's go there. And you haven't got way better, you run out of petrol. Amusing as that would be. <laughs> Let's go and get some juice. Well, at least you've got an empty flat. Oh no, <laughs> won't see nothing now, will it? <laughs> oh, there's the garage. I can see it, Dave. You're going to make it. You're going to make it one more, that garage there. It's shut. Uh oh. Oh. I'll go up to this one. Give you boys some room back there. Let's play the fill out with fuel game. All right, she's brimming. Well, you'll... Dave will still be filling his because not only has it got a tight of ridiculously low fuel range it takes 10 hours to fill the thing because <laughs> it's got a little hole that's one upgrade i need to do well bigger hole yeah right, it's half it's 20 past 10. it's getting it's getting on we're normally leaving by about 11 aren't we we may not be able to go all the way oh i've met girls like you before ah <laughs> <laughs> oh, there it is sunny weymouth Sunny Weymouth. Oh, did you pack your bathers? Look at the sea, beautiful. What if it's really clear? Because I reckon the sea's really clear now, don't they? Because of all the boats aren't churned. Look, all the boats just moored up, look. Look, all the cruise liners moored up. Yeah, it's biz absolutely bizarre, isn't it? It's almost like normal when you're out on the bike, isn't it? It's, it's quite easy just to slip back into the normal sort of ways, you know, the social distancing, sort of forget, forget almost. Oh, look, lovely. Should we just pull over here somewhere, yeah? Look at that, all those cruise liners just moored up. Because no one's obviously going on boats. Imagine the money that's costing, just having those liners moored up out there. Unbelievable. Whew. 
pretty quiet for, for, for Weymouth. You've got your sandwiches and your coffee. You've got croissants. Uh, it's alright for Sam. I've eaten mine. Wow. Drunk it.